What do you love most about America? And this question goes first to Lawrence Bergen. I am the grandson of immigrants, and my uh, grandparents came from Sicily, uh, and uh, my mother grew up very poor, never knew who her father was. What I love about this country is that in a couple of generations, I was able to go to college. My sister and I were the first ever in our family to go to college. Uh, I was able to, to work very hard, as my parents were before me, and, and create a better life than my grandparents ever, ever could imagine when they were living in a small fishing village in Sicily in, in, in a state of complete penury. Uh, this country allows us the opportunity to reach our full potential, whatever that potential may be, and it's different for everyone else. If we do the right things and work hard and do what we want to do, we can, we can do whatever we want with our lives and reach our full potential. And that opportunity is what this country was created for and it's still alive today and that's what we're fighting for this election. So I can just look back in the last 70 years or so, 70, 80 years in, in my family and see what this country is because we have so much more uh, than we did when we were in the old country. So that's, that's what the country means to me. I love America because we have the greatest nation in the whole world with the greatest opportunities for our citizens and our children that exist on the face of the earth. And our, our founding fathers gave us a constitution, a declaration of independence, and a constitution that protects our rights to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. That's why I love America. We have the ability to live the American dream. We can do and become anything that we want to in this country. I'm an example of that. I'm standing here running for Congress. My dad died when I was 10. We had nothing. I grew up educated myself, first person to grad, first grandchild to graduate, just like Lawrence. This is what America is about. You're what America is about. We live in the land of opportunity. We live and we are free and we have that opportunity to reach out and to be whatever God wants us to be. And we are blessed to live in this country. And it's great, it's wonderful. I am so proud to be here. I'm so proud to have this opportunity to reach out and ask you to let me be your representative and to serve you in Washington. And we have that wonderful constitutional republic that we were given and we need to stand for it, protect it, defend it with our lives and defend it with everything that we can within us and take back what's happened to us in Washington. This, this Obama, Pelosi, Reid, Periello administration is taking away our rights, our freedoms. It is trampling on our constitutional rights that God has given us, and they are wrong, 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 and we have got to stop them, replace them, turn this around, bring America back to that shining light on the hill that Ronald Reagan led us to, and that we can have again. Um, a couple of things. We're all looking for a good conservative, so remember, I'm the one on the far right. Also, after I heard Mark Lloyd, I'm thinking maybe he should be running. Uh, there's a book that I encourage everyone to read. It's called The 5,000 Year Leap. Uh, now, even though she's wearing somebody else's shirt, there's a lady out here, Kitty. She has a bookstore down 122. Stop there. She's got, she's got copies of it. 5,000 Year Leap. I've always known all my life that we had a very powerful document called the Constitution. It wasn't though until I started to meet people like Mark Lloyd to read 5,000 Year Leap that I really began to appreciate that it's not only a great document, but, and I know it's not wholly written, it never would have made it into the canon of scripture, but it's probably one of the best things we've had since the book of Revelation was closed out. It went from a head knowledge to a passion. Uh, when I first met Mark Lloyd, I introduced myself. I said, I'm, I'm with the uh, Perriello campaign and why I'm trying to expand, uh, expand our, our uh, base here. And he almost threw me out of his office. I was joking, of course. <laughs> Mark, Mark said, Mark talked about what we're really looking for is we want the Constitution back. And Mark started to cry. 
Now, I can make people cry really fast. I carry a copy of the Constitution. I have, I've had the copy of the Constitution for years. I suggest Jim McKelvey is giving away. Mine got tattered. He's giving away a copy. Stop by. Do what I did. Take his name off it. But get your copy of the Constitution. <laughs>